Hello and welcome to this week's video. Um, so, back from a fantastic trip to Canada. Um, if you haven't seen last week's video, uh, check that one out. Uh, that was taken over the, the weeks I was in Canada. Um, here we are now, first week in October. Uh, for me, well, not, not when the video goes out, but here we are, first week in October. And it's still fantastic weather here in the southwest of the UK. Um, so this morning there was some mist and fog forecast, but sure enough, the weather gods have let me down. So I was heading out onto the Somerset levels to do some shots out there with the low mist, but obviously I've changed the plans. Um, so I've come back across a bit further west, back to a local wood of mine called Shervage Wood. Um, it's a bit sort of mystical, um, a bit deep, dense sort of, uh, ancient woodland so I've come here to have a walk around and get some woodland shots so stick with me let's all walk through see what we can see okay so I've not walked too far into the woodland and the early morning light is just breaking through onto these few this sort of group of trees here this tree here just leaning into the shot framing that side um, a bit of greenery this side as well just sort of framing that and creating this this sort of window here looking through to these trees um, yeah so I've set up the frame pretty much using that sort of composition um, just adjusted the exposure um, currently shooting at f9 ISO 64 at three seconds um, it is still early morning uh, I want to try and get in because the sky is quite clear so we are going to get some harsh light as the sun comes up um, so I want to try and get in and get some shots before that harsh light and then maybe when we're a bit deeper in and the, the uh, sun breaks we might get some nice nice rays coming through so anyway let's uh, get this first shot and then walk on in to this mystical woodland. So, so I've not got very far in. Um, already taken that one shot and then come across this. I'll turn the camera around. So I've got this mossy old wall here which is the basically a head wall for a, a drain that runs through on the opposite side runs through underneath the road I guess um, but it just with this light catching it just looked a little bit too interesting to uh, walk past and avoid so I've just set up a shot using those two trees behind as a bit of a background and um, yeah not sure if it's going to work but as it caught my eye it uh, was a shot that just had to be taken right let's get on further because i'm sure this little area has got much more to offer Okay, I can uh, see the old sun is starting to come up behind me and um, break, break up all over the horizon. So let's get deeper into this wood because it's light's going to get harsh as the time goes on. So let's get deeper in before that happens. So I'm quite liking this in the camera, um, albeit I've lost the light a little bit, so I'm just going to wait. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, let me just 
make it a little bit more. Okay, so it's these sort of beech trees here, birch trees, sorry, in the middle that are just lighting up a little bit, um, which originally caught my eye, but then set the camera up and it's just this tree on the side here with this bit of foliage coming in over the top was just catching the light just nice um, and the same this side so that was acting as a nice sort of either side framing to the shot um, with those trees in the middle so yeah so like I say the light has just gone a little bit so I'm just gonna get this composition just finalized and be ready for it um, we've also got this little bit of a sort of greenery and some broken twigs and that here in the front which is acting as a as a little bit of foreground interest as well so so yeah it's just a shot that everything's there just need a a little bit of light just to give it that little bit extra so right let's uh, just fine tune this composition i may just move this way slightly yeah sort of there so that we've got this and then that brings those trees a little bit more central to these either side so i'll just uh, fine tune the composition and then when the light comes i'll get the shot and then i'll put it up and let you have a look So everything is dead calm this morning. Um, I'm getting away. I'm shooting two and a half, three seconds ISO 64. Um, F9, most of the shots at the moment are around about those settings. Um, but there's absolutely no movement. It's so still, so quiet here this morning. Um, so there's absolutely no movement in these leaves or anything. So I can get away with shooting at a, a slower shutter speed and not get any, any movement. So it's nice that you can shoot a nice low ISO, nice sharp image um, and decent shutter speed to, to get these shots. So yeah, right, let's move on. Okay, it's quite nice at the moment um i can see on the tops of the trees that the sun is up now and uh, the directional light is quite strong but because the sun's still quite low it's just hitting the top of the trees uh where i am me here i'm sort of down in a little bit of a down in a little bit of a valley into a bit of a dip so it's just nice here the uh, the light is still getting a bit of light coming through um picking up certain things uh, but it's it's soft it's still soft the light's still not too directional so and too harsh so i think we better see if we can get some more shots whilst the conditions are like they are so plan not do too long a walk this morning um two reasons one over the last three weeks I have walked absolutely miles um, and also new pair of walking boots so um, as you walkers know first time out with a new set of walking boots you don't want to be walking too far so just a steady walk today just to break them in a little bit just to ease them in and just see how they feel but so far so good so far I'm happy right enough talk let's keep going okay so another shot i'm quite liking um using this scene here um i'm stood back a little bit i'm shooting it um i'm zoomed in at 70 mil again same settings iso 64 f9 2.8 2.8 
2.5 so <laughs> keeping things simple this morning not messing around with the settings too much the light is pretty much staying the same where i am so um but this scene is is looking quite nice um i might do a gary goff trick and chuck you in camera and talk you through what i've done okay so this is the scene i'm looking at um as you can see here i framed up with this tree this side and this tree this side with this fallen tree got uh leading off up through that gap i've positioned this tree so that you can see these three trees here and this tree is just branching across leading you up into that gap there um so it's uh given a pleasant scene i've, I've sort of kept moving around like i'm shooting at 70 mil I, I started off i saw the scene from back here um and then sort of zoomed in moved around some different angles um zoomed in tried you know over here with that but it, i didn't like that it just seemed a little bit off center everything seemed a little bit weird tried over there bringing in these trees this side and everything again seemed a bit off center so like i say i finalized on that sort of scene there with the trees either side those trees and then that tree leading in so yeah um okay let's get this shot and we can then walk on a little bit further up through this gap So, as always, uh, with woodland photography, um, I've said in previous videos, please check back through some of my previous woodland videos um, on composition. Um, I always find, just walk through the woodland, things will jump out of you. Think of frames, think of shapes, think of something that's odd, um, anything that catches your eye, um, you know, to, to any natural framing, if the light is catching something nicely odd shaped trees anything that catches your eye just take take a photo of it just just capture it because it may may when you get it back onto the computer you may look at it and think no nope, don't like it discard it but at least you've got the shot um, if you don't take the shot that moment is gone um, you may well get it back on the computer and once it's lit up and you see it on the bigger screen think wow that's uh, one of my favorite shots of the day so like i say if if you see something that catches your eye just just photograph it because at least then you've got a, a record of that shot and you can you can uh, check it out afterwards right saying that let's move on so these woods over at Shervage um my mother always says that she's not keen on it she said it's she always feels there's something weird about them um yeah they've certainly got a sinister feel about them um like i say the sunlight it's really bright above me i'm down here and it's really dark you know it's it's just got a quite a quite a sinister cold feel about it um so i don't know maybe it is haunted who knows um we've got crows crows cawing above us you know and every now and again branches falling and creating noises that but yeah it's uh certainly got a sinister feel about it but yeah, as long as it gives me some photos i don't mind <laughs> okay so when i was a uh, saying just now about the woods been haunted just after that scared shitless all of a sudden heard something come thundering down towards me unfortunately i didn't have the camera set up and in in hand and ready because i had a a deer come down literally stop about 20 yards from me uh it, right there i could have got an incredible shot didn't have the camera ready but 
scared the crap out of me, but it was still nice to see. Okay, so to, to talk you through this next shot, let me show you on the camera the composition. Let me just take that down a bit. Just not sure if you can see that. Um, but we've got this, this this beech tree here in in the foreground with a root system coming out from it, which I've brought back to the sort of bottom bottom right hand corner of the frame. So this root leads us into the shot with this big tree here as the main subject but then that takes us back to this tree here which is in the mid ground uh, not a lot here there is a bit of a root there but not a lot and then that takes us back a bit further to another tree that's a little bit dark at the back there but um, hopefully I can just bring that out a little bit more in post but I'm not too worried about that one um, I'm just looking at this leading through, leading your eye through the shot. So, yes, yeah, looking quite nice. We've got a nice bit of light just breaking on the sides of the trees here to uh, give a bit of contrast. Picking up this green on the roots as well, giving us a nice bit of colour. Better leaves. Um, it's not really um, from this year there, from previous, like last year, I think, because they're the leaves are still they're just turning so we're still a few weeks away from from some decent autumn colors which definitely might be worth coming back here then um but anyway get this shot so these uh these ferns are just starting to uh, to die off here um already a little bit of color so i think i might be able to get a shot i'm going to get down into into these fir trees down the bottom here um see if i can get a shot using the colors of these ferns but as you can see they're sort of just on the turn so another couple of weeks this whole bed here is going to be a, just a massive sea of red ferns so I think we might be uh, coming back here very shortly. So not quite the red of the ferns I was looking for at the moment, but this one has caught my eye. This, this old fir tree here um, and the textures in it. Uh, so I'm using that as a foreground. It's got a nice sort of red base to it and a couple of ferns there. And then we've got these, uh, these other trees leading us back into the shop with these at the at the rear so yeah that's uh that's quite pleasant in the camera right let's see if we can get a uh, something with these ferns to uh call it a day So, after being a little bit disappointed that the, uh, the fog and the mist that was forecasted didn't materialise, but uh, there you go. Um, it's actually turned out to be quite a pleasant morning up here in these woods. I'm the only one around. Well, I think I am. Apart from the, uh, apart from the spirits that are with me. But... Um, been a great morning so hope you've enjoyed this week's video if you have please just hit that subscription button and a notification bell to keep up with the latest content and um, give me a thumbs up that would be much appreciated because it does help with the uh, video analytics and also drop me a comment down below because it's always great to to hear from you so once again thanks for watching till next time Take it easy.